You are listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair on RLM Radio. The girl of your dreams has got to be in some bar. Sorry, boys and girls, but this is X-rated. So if you're under 18... Get out, God damn it! Get the point good. And now... Bend over. Y'all ready for this? We do it all night long. And now, your host, Grammy. Hey there, hi there, ho there, everybody. And guess what? It is a Freaker Friday here in RLM. And this is your hostess with the mostest wackadoodliness on Wednesdays, but I get kind of freaky on Fridays. This is Grammy Mary, and I'm going to be taking you on a ride tonight, let me tell you. I got some wind going on out here in the boonies, and we had rain earlier, and it's going to be switching over to snow. Yeehaw! This is winter ever going to end. Lord of mighty oh well i am having a good time and i am coming to you from reallibertymedia.com channel 10 also on the rlm spreaker channel and if you are listening in on the spreaker channel sorry hon i got tin can kite string and duct tape internet so i can't chat on spreaker but if you come over to reallibertymedia.com think of a nickname join the chat give me some static i'll give it back because yeah that's what the rest of the chat room does they laugh at me And that's okay, because I laugh at me, too. (laughs) I find it's much more um, pleasant. Life is a lot easier to deal with if you just laugh at it. And sometimes you just plain need to. Oh, well. It is a Freaker Friday, and real quick, before I start saying some hey there's and hi there's to everybody and all the sites that I'm looking at right now, Java Doctor, real quick, sweetheart, uh, for inflammation, the essential oils that you may wish to try, frankincense is very good, melaleuca, which is tea tree, um, eucalyptus oil, oregano oil, and uh, lavender, cardamom, patchouli, Uh, Roman chamomile, myrrh, and rosemary. And I have also found that sometimes for achy joints, yeah, Vinny, sometimes I do got gas. (laughs) But um, achy joints wintergreen works really good for that as well. It's very helpful uh, for people that have like rheumatoid arthritis or something. It's very soothing. Now, you always have to be very careful Um, If you have sensitive skin, you need to dilute it with some either fractionated coconut oil or almond oil or jojoba oil uh, or even extra virgin olive oil. But um, I... (laughs) Rob, do you laugh at Vinny or do you laugh at me? I know you laugh at me. (laughs) They're already giving me static over in the chat, but that's okay. Rob can get away with it because he fired up the bubbler and passed it around. Oh, anybody that wants to get a quick virtual puff puff pass, come on over to Real Liberty Media. Rob just passed the uh, bubbler around. Okay, so over here on Twitter, my followers slash stalkers keep going up and down and up and down. I think Twitter's messing with me, and I think they do it on purpose. I think they do it to an awful lot of people, probably because I just pretty much post whatever I damn well feel like it. You know, if, if something twips my twigger, I post it. And if something, you know, if it's a happy twist, my twigger, then, you know, then I kind of go, oh, this is wonderful. But if it's not so happy, you'll know I'm not so happy because I have I have a real problem with um, tact sometimes, (laughs) which is why I'm not one ounce surprised that neither one of my daughters have very much tact either. They yeah, they come by that honestly. (laughs) Oh, well, I have a funny feeling my grandchildren are pretty much the same way. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But yeah, 854 right now. I was almost 860. But yeah, I'm I'm like a yo-yo. <laughs> kind of like Congress, you know, the, uh, the country's uh, health will go up and down when you have yo-yos in the Congress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so hi Twitter. Thank you, Barman, for tweeting me out. And you too, Vinny. Thank you very much, darling. I truly do appreciate you guys. Over here on Fakey Book, yeah, all kind of people over here. Uh, Darwin and Bubs and Catherine and Lisa B. And wow, how fun. And this just in. This is from, actually, it's not just in. This is really, really old, but sometimes you need to remember these kind of things. Just some little quotes for you real quick. Did you know that a democracy is nothing more than mob rule, where 51% of the people may take away the rights of the other 49? That was Thomas Jefferson. Or how about this one? Remember, democracy never lasts long. It soon wastes, exhausts, and murders itself. There never was a democracy yet that did not commit suicide. Kind of sort of like socialism or communism, or any of those collectivisms. That one was from John Adams. Or how about this? Democracy is two wolves and a lamb voting on what to have for lunch. Liberty is a well-armed lamb contesting the vote. Thank you, Ben Franklin, for that one. And lastly, we are a Republican government. Real liberty is never found in despotism or in the extremes of democracy. Thank you, Alexander Hamilton. We had some smart people back in the day. And we got just a wee bit lax, don't you think? Not necessarily just us, as in this generation, or the generation that I am in, which is, I think there's only one, maybe two people over in the RLM chat that, that just might possibly, <laughs> might possibly, um be in my age range okay Grimmy's a couple years younger than me but um <clears throat> in any case you know our parents our grandparents their parents and grandparents you know we all kind of got lulled into this false sense of security kind of thing thinking that we's the best and we got very lax or lackadaisical however you wish to look at that it was a choice that we made now, granted, there's an awful lot of people, especially out here in the middle of flyover country, that, you know, they're too busy um, actually working, <laughs> you know, whether it be on the farmstead or what have you, trying to raise families and raise food to feed those families. And so they really don't um, pay too much attention to them, their politicians, you know, them feds that kind of like, you know, there's some places where... It's, it's a G man, government man. They didn't think too crazy about them government men. Yeah, and that's right, Grim. Real Liberty is found at reallibertymedia.com. Um, also on realliberty.org. Mm-hmm. But, um, which is another site I'm going to get to here in just a sec, saying hey to. But I just wanted to get that out that, you know, the common folk... The, uh, as they call us, the silent majority, which is not silent anymore, um, you know, they're busy living their lives, which is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just live your life. But then you have these poly tick shins, you know, many bloodsuckers that have a tendency to think that maybe, just maybe, they know what's best for the rest of us. And that is what they do for their life. And I really think they need to get a different life because they don't know what works for me or for you. They only know what they think works for them, which is usually keeping us under their thumb. Hate when that happens. Oh, well, back to saying, hey there, hi there, ho there. Thank you, everybody over here on Fakey Book for uh, paying attention. Oh, there's Cecilia as well. Hi, Cecilia. How are you, sweetheart? And Raymond out in California. Sweet. Okay. Um, next. I think I'll just go to that realliberty.org. Then once again, Grimmy, let everybody know over here that I am live and in poison. I also see Vinny is over here as well as Rob Works and Bob Renner and the lovely Mary B just logged out. And uh, as well as Donna and Cowboy Tech over here on Freedom's Network, that wonderful effing site. Yay, we're a sweat, a sweat, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, let's rewind that and do that again. <laughs> Estrella reigns supreme over here on Freedom's Network. She is always sharing brain food. 
bless her heart and thank you once again grimmy for letting everybody know over here that i am live and in poison um anybody over here on mines that might be listening in hey mines how are you doing yeah it's just that crazy woman again but you know what i said it before and i'll say it again being deemed crazy by an insane world is almost a badge of honor at least in my books uh let's see that's one two three four five and a new site um in the matrix dot com a new site that i have joined recently um i just shared over here too so if anybody over here is listening hi how you doing hope you're having an awesome friday <laughs> Uh, Biden kissed, sniffed, Latino Democrat. Oh, that, oh, ooh, uh, man. <laughs> Biden's just a freaking creeper to start with, but man, you throw that in there. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> okay, now to the place where you need to be if you want to give me some static. Over here in the RLM chat, I see Barman right up top. Hey there, Barman, you are are the most splendiferous spot in the whole wide world even if every once in a while you kind of have one of those hiccups and just start posting crap just willy-nilly all over the place it's okay hon it's okay we still love you barman just like i still love my computer i also see grimner is here the rlm god don't you know and he's going to be on later on this evening i think with the is the lovely moose quail going to be here this evening grim or did she check out and is going somewhere I seem to recall something about she was going to be going somewhere. Is that this weekend? That woman, she seems to think she's got life. How dare she? If Moose Quail is here, it's going to be th uh, the Freaker's Ball later on this evening here on RLM. But if she's not, it'll be Balls to the Wall. So either way, it'll be a good time had by all. I also see the lovely Kate is here down in Florida. Hi, Miss Kate. I hope you're not getting hammered with nasty weather. And looky there, Asmo, the Asmodeus Asmo is in the chat, as well as Chalcedony. He got the O oh, going on again. I'm here, kind of, sort of, mentally, maybe, in the chat. I also see IB Don C and IB Don C. Got a couple of IB Don C's going on in the chat. Um, you know, because he's got multiple personalities every once in a while. Uh, da -dun -dun -dun. Java, 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 Dr. Two is in the chat. And I really, honey, I am sending you healing energy for that knee. Man, I know people that have gone through that. And it's not easy, but sweetie, hopefully it will get much, 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 much better. Uh, and then... Um, ah, as far as you know, Moose Goyle will be here. Cool, it'll be a Freaker's Ball then. Awesome sauce. I see Goobrazilla just logged in as well. Uh, Meister Bra. Hey, Woody. How you doing, hon? Hope everything's way cool in the desert. <laughs> da -dun -dun -dun. Ponder Gander. He was on earlier today, that old Vinny. He's a pondering and a gandering. And you know, in some places, you can get in trouble for that stuff. Um, we also see the lovely Rain is here, as well as Rob Works, the Bubbler Man. If anybody can do it, the Bubbler Man can. Thank you, Rob Works, for passing that bubbler. Vanna White is also here. And Vanna lets us know just exactly what it is that we posted <laughs> so that the whole class can see. She also lets us know what the weather's doing and that kind of stuff as well as weather dork um she's a bot but she's a lovely bot she's very good at turning letters don't you know Vinny is also here yeah i see you Vinny. the multiple faces of Vinny. <laughs> Okay, W4DKV is also in the chat as well as Weather Dork. And Phantom, once again, thank you, darling, for the wonderful intro that you made for me. Truly do appreciate it, hon. And well then, well, all righty then. <laughs> derpity, derpity, derpity do. No, that's not that stuff you put in your hair. Um, dun, dun, dun. That's my phone going off. Uh, I also see Beetle. Hey, Beetle. Is puppy, the, puppy, <laughs> Pippy there with you, hon? Give her a couple of scratchings between the ears for me, will ya? Um, oh, a search engine. 
How fun is that? Uh, da -da -da -da. Cycles is logged in. Hey, Cycles. Yeah, I saw earlier that you're having springish weather over there in Denmark. Bless your heart, hon. I'm having springish weather out here in the middle of flyover country. Well, you know, this is the only place on the planet where you can have four seasons in one day. <laughs> Once again, don't have to be crazy to live here, but it sure helps. Um, Colfax 101 is also logged in as well as Cyborg Noodle. And seeing as how today is Friday, Apostopharian Holy Day, Arg Talk Like a Pirate Day, may you be touched by his noodly cyborg cyborgian goodness. And, um, oh, you like search engines? They make you laugh? Well, I'm happy for you and well then. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Dakota is here. Hi, Dakota. I hope you're not freezing up there in the Great White North. Gooberzilla, like I said, logged in just a little bit ago. Gromit is here, as well as JJ's over in Scotland. Don't let that breeze get up the kilt. Kozu is also here, as well as Carl Marx. See, we got some of them there, Marxy people. Carl Marx, I wonder if he's one of the Marx brothers. Boom, boom, boom. Kiss is also here, who gave a duck the kiss of death. And Moose Goyle, too. Ah, that's where Moose Goyle is. She's way down here. She's not way up there where she normally is. I also see some pom 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 pom, -pom sauces logged in, as well as Sock Puppet. Hey, Sock. And Silamo. Ah, oh, Silamo. Is that like a sil syllabus kind of thing? Don't know. Um, Let's see. Oh, you're going to get him some giggles? Just don't give him no shits, neither. Because, man, you know, it's all fun and games till someone giggles and shits. <laughs> Oops. I also see Tech Man and to round out the crew, Uno. So that's everybody over here on the RLM. Let's go check out the red pill real quick and see what's going on over there. Um, I also see F. Canella is logged in here as well as Frumpy3 and Juan Ataco and Katie Troxel and Quantum Cupcake and Soily. So, hey, all of you over here in Cyberland, I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. I just wanted to let you know, I, I stumbled across this earlier today. You know, I, I had the day off, and so I did perusing on the interwebs, and then I decided, okay, I need to listen to some things to clear my mind and teach me and all this stuff. You know, yeah, I know it's weird. How do you clear your mind and yet learn things? Well, with my mind, yeah. So I sat down in my recliner and I started knitting. I started knitting <laughs> on a uh, draft blocker for um, one of my doors that has a tendency to let a bit of a draft in underneath. So I'm knitting a little draft blocker to go under there and after about three rows, I promptly fell asleep, <laughs> which is what Knitten does to me. But <clears throat> what is this? I have a I have a notification. Hi, Mrs. C over here on In the Matrix. Okay, so what I stumbled across was it today, or maybe I stumbled across it yesterday. Ah, oh, my days run together. Especially when I work multiple days in a row, like outside of the house work, and uh, uh, man, you know, I ain't as young as I used to be. <laughs> oh, well, this is from uh, two years ago, actually, but I find it quite fascinating still. So, and sometimes, you know, we need this little reminder. It's from consciousreminder.com from July of 2017. Is that July? Of, no, January of 2017. I read that wrong. Oops. Oops. Uh, so, everything is energy and we control it with the power of our thoughts. In other words, with your choices that you make. So, the Nobel Prize awardees in physics beyond doubt provide or proved that physical world is one big ocean of energy that materializes and dematerializes in a split second, over and over again. Nothing is solid. 
this is the world of quantum physics. And they prove that thought through response, or they prove that thoughts are responsible for holding this ever-changing energy field together in the form and shape of objects that we know. So your thoughts, your thoughts, get control of them. So why do we see a person instead of flashing clusters of energy? Well, think of a film roll. A film is a collection of about 24 frames per second, and each frame is separate from the other by a small space. Compared to the speed these frames change with, our eyes are tricked to see them as a continual film. Think about television. The cathode tube is a simple tube with a bunch of electrons hitting the screen in a certain way, making an illusion of shape and movement. I don't know if they do cathode tubes anymore in TVs. Do they? I have no idea. Anyway, this is how all objects are made. We have five physical senses. Sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. And each of these senses has a specific range. For example, a dog hears a different range of sound than people do, and snakes see a different spectrum of light than us, and so on, and so on, etc., etc. In other words, our senses perceive energy from a certain fixed point of view, and that's how they create images and form our perception. But that's neither exact nor complete. That's just an interpretation. All our interpretations are based exclusively on our inner map of reality, but not the real truth. Our map is the result of the collective experience of our personal lives. So what you see is not going to be what I see. Never will be because no two people have the exact same experiences at the exact same time all the way through their lives. If they did, whoa, that'd be freaky deaky. Now, our thoughts are associated with this invisible energy and they determine what form it will take. They can literally change the universe particle after particle, creating our 3D life. Yes? Uh, what's that, Grim? Kids these days won't know what the hell a film roll is anymore than they will a cathode ray tube. That is true, Grim. That is true. Or a Ford Ranchero. Although, I do have a brother that has a Ford Ranchero. And my farmer has a 60, is it a 67, 67 or a 69 El Camino. So, yeah. Sweet! Back to, back to. So look around you. Everything you see in our physical world began as an idea, which kept growing until it materialized into a physical object through a series of steps. So you literally turn into your most frequent thoughts. You are creating your reality. Get a handle on that. That's your power. They, the leeches that be, do not wish you to know this, but it's true. Your life has become what you imagined and believed in. And, and you know, that's one thing I, I remember hearing earlier today. How many of those things in your life that you have worried about, how many of them actually came true? You know, all those little things that kept you or held you back from from taking a chance on something or or trying something new or what have you or even just going through your day how many of those negative things that you worried about actually happened maybe you need to just stop focusing on that kind of stuff you think now back to this, the world is literally your mirror. It allows you to experience everything you believe to be the truth in this 3D plane. That's until you change it. Quantum physics tells us that the world is not a constant as it may appear to be. Instead, it is a place of constant motion with our individual and collective thoughts 
keep building, tearing down, and rebuilding in perpetuum. So, is that had, I wonder if that's a typo, because man, that don't look right. In any case, <clears throat> what we believe to be true is actually an illusion. It's almost magic. Fortunately, we start to expose the illusion, and most importantly, we are learning how to change it. So here's a simple explanation for you. What are the components of your body? Well, the human body is comprised of nine systems, including the circulatory, digestive, endocrine, muscular, nervous, reproductive, respiratory, skeletal, and urinary. Urinary has a place all its own, because sometimes life's a real pisser. Just saying. So, what makes these systems? Well, it's the tissues and organs. And what are tissues and organs made of? Well, they're made of cells. And what makes the cells? Molecules. And what makes molecules? Atoms. And what makes atoms? Subatomic particles. And what makes subatomic particles? Energy. So, we're just an energy light in its most beautiful and intelligent configuration. An energy which is constantly changing under the surface and all of that, it's controlled by our powerful mind. You are one big and powerful human being. If you could see under a strong electronic microscope and do other experiments on it, you would see that you are made up of clusters of forever changing energy in the shape of electrons, neurons, photons, and other subatomic particles. Or so they tell us. So, is everything else around you? It is. Quantum physics tells us that the act of observing the object is the one that causes the object to be there. The object does not exist independently of an observer. So, as you can see, during observation, your attention is focused on something and your intention literally creates that thing. That's a scientifically proven. <clears throat> excuse me. Your world is uh, consisted of soul, mind, and body. And each of these three has a function that is unique. What you can see with your own eyes and experience with your own body is the physical world, which we call the body. The body is an effect created by a cause. And that cause is called thought. Now the body cannot produce. It can only experience and be experienced. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a unique ability. On the other hand, the thought cannot experience. It can make, create, and interpret. It needs a world of relativity, or the physical world, or body, to be experienced. The soul is everything. The one that gives life thought and body. The body has no power to create, although it gives the illusion that it does. This illusion is the reason behind so many frustrations. The body is a pure effect and has no power to cause or create. The key is to use this information to see the universe in a different way than we see it now so that we can manifest what we really want. So, people, you know, and, and, and I listened to another thing earlier today about, you know, why do bad things happen to good people? And, you know, we are not here, we don't live in a vacuum. We aren't the only ones that are creating here. We're not the only ones that are perceiving. You've got all kinds of people out there that are creating and perceiving. And I think it kind of depends on... Uh, <laughs> oh, Grammy. I think it kind of depends on who has the stronger perception.
you know, because some people really do have, and who gets more, it's just like history. History, quite often, I'm finding, history is a lie that's agreed upon by the masses. That's pretty much what history is. It is his story. They just took out a hyphen and an S. That's all there is to it. And yeah, Goober, we are not taught that kind of stuff in school. And uh, Grimmy, uh, you are not a nary. <laughs> you are such a goof, Grim. Such a goof. I'm not a nary either. You're a nary. <laughs> Okay, so I found that article quite refreshing and informative. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think I need a bit of a um, swig of my beverage. I have coffee this evening because it's kind of sort of chilly out here. Okay, and along those lines, you know, since since we really are the creators of our reality with our thoughts and our intentions... Something from uh, Carolyn Meese. Thank you, Miss Beth Z, for this one. I'd forgotten about her. I'd seen some of her TED Talks, but I'd forgotten about her until you mentioned her in, in one of the chats. And it's like, thank you, lady. Um, in a talk, that, one of her TED Talks about choice, she says, we are all born knowing that choice is powerful. Perhaps that, and I think that perhaps that's why the leeches that be have made a really big thing out of women's right to choose. They're perverting what is natural or innate because that is what they do. And it is, you know, it's, it's, and Gooper is right. We're not taught these things. Or a lot of times that is indoctrinated out of us. You have to follow orders. You must listen to authorita. And it starts with the parents. And I'm not saying that parents are, are, you know, bad intentioned or anything. They're trying to raise, for the most part, they're trying to raise their kids right, you know, so that, so that they're not total little douches running around going it's mine it's mine i'm off ended how dare you say that don't disagree with me you need to be inclusive but be inclusive like my kind of inclusive because if you don't think like i do you're not very inclusive kind of bass backwards thinking but ah, there you go um you know so we really need to unlearn unlearn a lot of what we have been quote unquote taught in this world we need to learn to trust our instincts again you know when you're a kid you do you know, except for when you know you're climbing a tree and you go oh look i can jump out of this yeah i'm not real sure that gravity is a real thing you know and i'm i'm doing that whole flippy floppy on gravity again too with the flat earth and the globe earth and i actually postulated earlier today what if it's both what if it's both a globe and flat what if we're like a snow globe and those little system resets that are starting to gain some traction on YouTube, you know, with mud floods and, and all of this other fun stuff uh, where history kind of sort of gets rewritten every once in a while, the Tartaria stuff, how, whatever. I listen to some weird stuff. Yes, I do. But I find it all quite fascinating. It's brain food, input. But, you know, what if, what if... When those things, when those system resets happen, it's because whatever supreme creator or how, whatever you wish to call it just reaches out, grabs that snow globe, if you will, and gives us a shake. <laughs> what if? I mean, we don't know. We really don't know. I don't trust anything NASA tells me nothing nasa is never a straight answer as far as i'm concerned i don't trust any of it i catch catch them in one lie and everything gets called into question you catch them in multiple lies and it's like the trust is gone and that's all that also applies to a lot of government a lot there are very few people in governmental positions that I true that I trust 
and even then it's they get a little trust you know if you know what I mean hey miss van meter welcome aboard darling how are you doing sweetie um, but you know and it's like I I get this whole Q movement I really do and I find it fascinating but it's it's starting to kind of creep me out a little bit here because the people are it's almost getting a religiosity feel to it which is n not necessarily a good thing in my books you know um, and I don't I don't know if that's necessarily the intent behind it either because I've read a bunch of the Q posts and uh, you know it's not necessarily implied that Q is a know-all be-all do-all kind of thing it's not the the wizard behind the curtain in Oz um, it's supposed, you know, from what I'm getting, we have the power. But it seems to me that there's an awful lot of people that are acquiescing their power to, you know, or everything to Q, to Trump, to this, to that. People, come on. You need to understand. You are giving away something that maybe you should not be giving away okay it's interesting it's informative but don't be giving away don't be giving your allegiance what oh Grimmy if they give you a shake you hope it's chocolate I do like chocolate shake I don't like strawberry shake there's something about strawberry ice cream that's just no but I like sherbet isn't that weird but yeah, strawberry does not belong in ice cream. You could put strawberries on top of ice cream, but don't put it in the ice cream. That's just weird. That's just weird. But you can put chocolate and like peanuts and caramel. And <laughs> oh God, don't get me started. I haven't had supper yet. Oh well. I have prattled on. I've gone, I've gone off the deep end. But that's okay. You guys are used to that. It's a Freaker Friday. So there you go. One other thing from the lovely Miss Carolyn Meese. Um, she also said that liars don't heal. And the way she explained it is, um, you know, she said liars can, they can do all of the, the proper seeds and, and the proper kind of water and the proper soil and planting things at the proper time, eating healthy, getting there, doing all of the exercise and getting plenty of sleep. But liars don't heal. A person that eats cat food will last longer than a liar and the reason behind that is because your body knows that you're lying the body knows that you are being dishonest and dishonesty is usually done because you are wishing to either hide a truth from someone or your behavior or your thoughts or your words or your deeds will lead to harm coming to another and your body knows this and your body this builds up in your body and your body actually becomes a walking talking cancer and cancer is just a malignant cell just gone berserky so you are creating your own dis-ease in your body and it's not a disease as in one word it's a dis-ease in your body so you know, tell the truth Whatever you do, even if it's going to make someone feel some butt hurt or make someone even just really sad, got to tell them the truth. It's tough love sometimes, but it, you, lying never, never fixes anything. Even the little white lies, they don't fix anything. It may be a sweet tasting pill, but it's poison on the inside. So... I am going to now go check out because it's getting late. It's getting late and I have prattled. I'm going to go check out the pig. Pig prattler. Don't you know? And um, see what they have to say about this day in history. Now first thing their word of the day is reparations. That's a demand for payment for things that happened to somebody else from people who weren't even alive at the time. All of this nonsense coming up about how we should pay reparations to the 
African Americans, number one, get rid of the frickin' hyphenization. You're either Merkin or you're not. Doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Most of those people have never set foot on Africa anyway. And quite frankly, most of them don't want that kind of nonsense. And if you stop and you look back through what we are told is his story, there is not a culture or a race anywhere on this planet that was not a slave to someone else. We've all been slaved. And we're all still slaves to the government right now. That is, until we change our mindset. Now, to carry on, in the quotable quotes section, life is inherently unfair. That's why condoms come in different sizes. <laughs> That's from the pig doctrine. Thank you, Hambo and Porcus. Y'all have such colorful ways of putting things, don't you know? And now, for this date in history, the 29th of March. Scrolling, 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 keep my cursor rolling. Okay, 29th of March, 1845, Mexico cuts diplomatic relations with Uncle Sam. Tragically, it was too damn good to last. Mm, well, yeah, they're just sharing. Just sharing. That's one way of putting it. And this date in history, the 29th of March, 1939, armed with a formidable weapon of unknown origin, a Dutch hunter goes out bird hunting and eventually shoots down several Brit bombers. Really? Really? Hmm. Wonder what kind of blade he was hunting. Hmm. Well, that's according to these funny little fellers over here on PIGazette.com. Come on over and say hey to Hambo and Porkus. Tell them Grammy sent you. I'm, I don't know what they're going to do. They might run. They might jump into the pig cave and swill down some beers and maybe even share some pizza with you. You never know with those two. But um, what else did I have? Did I have anything else that I wanted to get to? Just had to, had to, had to get to this evening. I don't think so. I don't think so. By the way, Grim, I wound up um, uninstalling Skype from my computer, and it's working just fine. <laughs> you know, Skype keeps doing... It kept popping up and wanting to do stuff to my hard drive and wanting to do this and wanting to do that. And thank you for the wire, because I love that. That's not nearly as invasive or intrusive as Skype was. Skype was always... Skype was damn near wanting to know the size of my underwear. I mean, it's like, really? It's none of your damn business. But I uninstalled it, and yeah, my computer is like zippity doo dah now. So I don't know what the heck. And that's that's today, but eh, tomorrow is another day. So, let's see. Later on this evening, you're going to have Grimner and Moose Girl with the Freakers Ball, where a good time will be had by all here on RealLibertyMedia.com. We also, tomorrow at noon Eastern Time, have the Dork Table Coming up here on RLM, that's Flash Rooney Dork. He is the king of dorkiness, and uh, God only knows who's going who he's going to talk into joining him tomorrow. I'm not real sure if I'm going to be able to play or not. Just kind of depends. Um, Sunday at noon Eastern Time, Grimner's going to be hopping on the radio and playing some blues for you. <clears throat> what was that, Grammy? Yeah, no. Imagine that. Imagine that. Uh-oh. Rob, don't be doing that to Donna unless she wants you to. You poivy bugger. I'm I'm over here in the chat. These guys are being a little bit on the crazy side. Okay. Directly following Grimm on Sunday. Oh, by the way, if you're into trivia, come on over to reallibertymedia.com and uh, join the chat because while Grimm is playing the blues on the radio there's always a rousing game of trivia going on in the chat and that's really quite fun although yeah a slow reader here <laughs> or maybe it's a combination of slow reader slow typer and tin can kite string and duct tape internet I I barely get done reading the question and then zippity doodah Miss Kate or Miss Moose or Grimner or Rob or somebody gets the answer spit out and I'm like I only got one letter typed damn oh well 
Directly following Grim and the Blues on Sunday is Hal Anthony, who's going to open up a can of whoop-ass on yo ass behind the woodshed. Always a big dose of brain food from Hal Anthony. Thank you, Hal, for everything that you do. Monday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Grim is going to be jumping on with the leftovers. Always some really, it's kind of had time to savor little news tidbits that Br- Grimm brings to the table for you to consume for brain food. Brain food. Thank you, Grimm, for your leftovers. Then on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, in a playfect world with Flasher and Vinny, if Vinny is playing along. That's always quite entertaining. Um, I have to listen to podcasts of that because I'm working while they're playing. I'll see how you guys are. Um, Then on Wednesday, I will be back at 7 p.m. Eastern Time for another edition of the Rocket Chair. And Thursdays, Thursdays, Flash a Rooney, Flash somebody, he's going to have 20% off of whatever it is he's trying to sell you. Just remember, he's marked it up at least 30% before he took that 20% off because he's Jewy. He's a Jewy guy. So, you know, and he don't mind when I call him that because he's a mess of Jew. That's, that's one of the weirdest dang combinations. You know, and I had a brother tell me that I was a uh, conservative hippie. And I think a mess of Jew is just a little bit weirder than a conservative hippie. Just saying. So, that is the lineup here on Real Liberty Media. You also got the Ch- Ocelli Effect is on 8 p.m., Eastern Time, Monday through Saturday on Channel 14 over here on Real Liberty Media. So yeah, lots and lots of things to listen to and learn from. Come on over, check it out. Now, let's see. I think I will find one more in my pocket if I have a... Yeah, this one. We'll just go to this one just because because I have a few minutes left. So, you know, everybody, um, you know, they keep all of these building materials and people keep worrying about radon and all of this other fun stuff. Well, this is from January of this year. It's the world's first prefab house made entirely of hempcrete. Now, hemp can be used to build rigid houses, and Dunn Agro, being a Dutch construction company, has decided to focus on hempcrete, a.k.a. um, hemp concrete, due to hemp's durable nature, which allows it to be used to make anything from construction materials, food, clothing, and even biofuel. Now, Dunn Agro's hempcrete is a combination of water, hemp fibers, and glue which is forced together through a mold creating prefabricated sections for construction. And with all that said, there is no way to get a drug high from hemp. It's completely safe for adults, children, and pets. All the same. Now, November 30th of 2018 was a very important date for Dunn Agro because they put a hemp house that it created on display. And due to the speed of construction, a second house was already been completed with plans to continue this trend. Dunn Agro estimates it can build 500 hempcrete houses a year if the Dutch output of hemp stays the same and if demand increases, they can easily scale. Now, surprisingly, Dunn Agro isn't the first to try this kind of construction style, but it's the first one to be successful at it. So, um, Dunn Agro's Hemp Creek Construction's biggest benefit is the CO2 that the hemp sucks out of the atmosphere as hemp takes over one, uh, takes over 13,000 kilos of CO2 during its growth, which remains in the hemp creek for its entire constitution life. Cool. And farmers love growing hemp for a bonus income and, at present, over 1,000 hectares in the Netherlands are dedicated to agricultural land for hemp. It's an incredible new technology and it needs to be implemented and could help combat 
Climate change. Yeah, climate changes, that's what it do. Now, did you know that hemp and hempcrete is also, it's fire resistant, so it will lower your insurance costs, and um, it's also um, insect resistant. So, hey, way cool, way cool. Yes, Vinny, I did say easily. So, and it looks like, ah, Hip Jip C posted that better late than never when Donald Trump signed the farm bill before Christmas legalizing industrial hemp. Cool. So, um... I have enough time for this. 10 eye-opening facts about hemp. 80% of all textiles, fabrics, cloth, linen, drapes, bed sheets, etc. were made from hemp until the 1820s with the introduction of the cotton gin. All school books were made from hemp or flax paper until the 1880s. Number two, did you know Benjamin Franklin owned one of the first paper mills in America and it processed hemp? Also, the War of 1812 was fought over hemp. Napoleon wanted to cut off Moscow's export to England. Okay, that's one of the stories we're told. Henry Ford's first Model T was built to run on hemp gasoline, and the car itself was constructed from hemp. On his large estate, Ford was photographed among his hemp fields, and the car grown from the soil had hemp plastic panels whose impact strength was ten times stronger than steel. That's from Popular Mechanics, 1941. Uh, number four, refusing to grow hemp in America during the 17th and 18th century was against the law. You could be jailed in Virginia for refusing to grow hemp from 1763 to 1769. And you could even pay taxes with hemp in America from 1631 until the early 1800s. Number five, Quality paints and varnishes were made from hemp seed oil until 1937. 58 tons of hemp seeds were used in America for paint products in 1935. That's from the Sherwin-Williams Paint Company testimony before the U.S. Congress that was against the 1937 Marijuana Tax Act. Number six, for thousands of years, 90% of all ships' sails and rope were made from hemp. The word canvas comes from the Middle English word uh, cannabis, which comes from the Latin word cannabis. Number seven, in 1938, hemp was called billion dollar crop. It was the first time a cash crop had a business potential to exceed a billion dollars. That's also from Popular Mechanics, February of 1938. Number eight, the first crop grown in many states was hemp. 1850 was a peak year for Kentucky, producing 40,000 tons. Hemp was the largest cash crop until the 20th century. Number nine, in 1916, the U.S. government predicted that by the 1940s, all paper would come from hemp and that no more trees would need to be cut down. Government studies report that one hectare of hemp equals 4.1 acres of trees. Plans were in the works to implement such programs in the U.S. Department of Agriculture archives. And finally, number 10, the oldest known records of hemp farming go back 5,000 years in China, although hemp industrialization probably goes back to ancient Egypt. So, hemp the much maligned and yet much needed crop. And yet, and yet, somebody made a choice for the rest of us, didn't they? So, thank you all for listening in to this um, edition of The Rocket Chair here on this Freaker Friday, the last Friday of the month of March. Just remember, Monday is April Fool's Day. Yippee-i-yay, cow patty, where all the fools will come out and shine their foolishness. Well, they do that anyway, but eh, yeah, whatever. Ah, but until then, have an awesome weekend. I'm going to get out of here because i got to go chop up some potatoes and some sweet potatoes and uh, get them cooking because I need to add them to the cheesy broccoli soup that I made last night. I want to kind of do a little conversion 
add that to that and make another soup out of what was left from last night. Leftovers are awesome, don't you know? Please remember, I truly do love you all. And I wish you all enough. Good night.